Okay, so today we are going to deploy an ERC20 token. What we need for it is a remix. We will make a new file, name as my first token. So the artifacts are created automatically. Also, the compilation is also done automatically, as I have checked it. Now we will go to the website of Open Zeppelin Wizard. Let's click on the first link. So here is a basic ERC20 token. And now let's keep the name to be technical block. Let the symbol be tech. Okay, so we can add the following features. First of all, if we want uh, the mm, tokens to be pre minted, basically on deployment, I need the total supply to be 1000 for now. We can add a function which allows us to mint the tokens. Also, we can add a function to burn the token. You can see the burn token option right here, but it will be available when you will deploy it. We can pause the contract if we find there an issue. So let's continue with these functions for now. Click on the copy button. It will be copied. Let's paste it here. Okay. As you see, it has automatically been compiled. Okay, so let's test it on the local itself. I want this address to be the owner and also the recipient will transact it. As we could see, this address, this first address is only the owner. And uh, by default, we have the decimals to be 18. Yes, let's see. It is 18. So I minted 1000 tokens. And it minted 1000 into 10 to the power 8. As my symbol was tech, it is not currently false, but I can pause it. Name is technical domain. Domain separator. Decimals is 18. Okay. Uh, let's suppose I need to change my decimals. What should I do? I will just make a function here. Okay. And instead of 18, I'll return the decimal level. Uh, it should be between 0 to 18. Uh, let's say 6, like it is with the USDT. And yeah, now we are ready to deploy it again. Again, I want the same wallet to be the owner. We'll do the transaction and now we can see the reduction of zeros. Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So three zeros plus six, that's nine. Again, we can see decimals. Now also, uh, let us, let's say if I want, the person who is deploying the contract should be the initial owner. 
so we'll go to the constructor we'll not take initial owner and we will set initial owner to be msg dot sender that means the sender of the transaction also let's keep the recipient also of the tokens to be the sender of the contract only let's remove this also and as we see token is deployed uh, let, let's do it with the another address so it will start with AB8 and end with 35CB2 AB8 and 35CB2 it's the same address and let's also check the balance of the address he has the all the balance and that's the total supply for any doubts please comment thank you